Hello and welcome back to Iron Dinos. Today we've got a game to golf here. The Flame in the Flood. Almost got it wrong there. But as always, this is a first looks, first impression video to, just to give you a glimpse into uh, the type of game and if you'd like to download it. As always, I've got Sean with me. Yo! Yeah! So this is it. This is Flame in the Flood. It is a survival game. A bit of strategy, I guess, in there as well. Uh, have you played any of it, sir? Yeah, I... I... Chuck chuck about half hour into it. Got through the little tutorial area and out into the main game. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll certainly say I love the aesthetic. I really like the okay. look of it. Yeah. I really like the. Um, uh, yeah, I really like the art style. Um, it's very. Um, What's the way of putting it? Kind of Tim Burton y or like, you know, the kind yeah. of stuff Neil <laughs> Gaiman kind of gets Dave McKean working on and stuff like that. So it's a it's kind of cutesy but with a slightly abnormal edge to make it to give it like a a slightly gothic y, slightly disturbing feel while still being, like I say, very cutesy. Um it's a yeah. style I quite yeah. like. So Yeah. Um she constantly I don't know if this changes the further into the game, but there's always that little picture at the bottom of the screen of her general well-being, and it just looks like she has a cold. <laughs> She's feeling a bit sorry for herself. She's got the sniffles. Um, I don't know if yeah. at some point that changes to a giant grin, but I didn't get it to do so. Oh, it does. If you get attacked by a wolf, she looks very haggard and almost zombie-like. <laughs> <laughs> Which happens to me. I can't remember if I included it in the video, but uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah that that changes depending on how bad your health is, basically. Oh, I tell you what, um, because it because it just did it there. Really, really like the camera angle to the main yes. gameplay. Um, yeah. It's in this kind of game. It's so 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 important to get the camera angle just right and for the style of game and the art style of this game and everything just having that slightly crooked kind of angle on something really really helps the aesthetics oh for sure for sure yeah i'm i'm a bit touch and go with the camera angles of like this type when you're sort of above but on an angle they they really have to nail that for me um because a few games they they haven't and it, it can really interfere with how i feel and how i'm playing the game but yeah this one I totally agree they completely nailed it on this one really really good so you've not hit across the immediate floor that i did which was you get oh. in a boat and you've got all these yeah. islands and all these other little bits yes around. Which I assumed you could go to, <laughs> um, because it doesn't make clear straight away that no, no, no you could only you could only go onto very limited number of islands, and it's quite clearly marked when you find them. But I'm just like, okay, I'm in a boat. I'm going to try over there. Smash! Oh crap! All right, yeah. I'll try over there. Smash! Oh crap! <laughs> oh, I can loot this one. Smash! Oh, I also hit the bloody thing. Yeah. Oh well, I'll tell you a little secret. I have deleted some content of me smashing into Ireland <laughs> and doing exactly the same thing. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't make it clear. I'll give it this. It was a very satisfying sound effect. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> and I kept missing the islands that you could actually loot as well on the way past. And I still haven't figured out which, if it indicates which island you can or not, or whether it's just completely random. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, it doesn't make it clear until you get these little icons pop up on the screen, and then you can uh, there. There you go. Then you get like a dock, and you yeah. know, right? I can definitely land on that island. So as far as I'm making it, I've made out there is about five to six different islands, and each one is slightly different. Um, uh, but there are, uh, say, five or six different types. So you get uh, like a, a church symbol one. That's good for healing, uh, a safe place to stay. And generally speaking, you get some sort of items that you can craft healing stuff out of. 
and then this one I, I believe is just a wooded area so yeah it's just a, a sort of the wilds if you like yeah these can be slightly dangerous depending on which one you land on you can get boars and wolves and um all sort of manner of things oh look, there's a boar now <laughs> <laughs> perfect timing and this boar did it just me. immediately you, break uh, your leg yeah, the yeah, hell he absolutely ruined me. <laughs> and now this is a point where I'm not sure whether you can fight back or not. So I'm trying desperately to to swing that stick that I've got, and I'm like, surely that's gonna do something. It doesn't do it. So I end up playing Ring of Ring of Roses around this little island for quite some time, <laughs> all the way to night time, where I finally sleep, thinking it might like reset and the ball would go away but no i'm i'm now dying <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of interesting because i got this same first island of, as you but obviously it's procedurally generated so that yeah. tree and the bus were in the same place as mine but okay none of the other stuff like so i'm guessing the layout of the shape of the area is probably the same but all the crap yes. in it yeah. is different because um, I didn't have yeah. that at all. And I didn't get attacked by a boar, so I got off better than you. Oh, yeah, you definitely <laughs> got off better than me. <laughs> that was like the first island I landed on, pretty much. Uh, so, so yeah, I died. And because I hadn't crossed a checkpoint or anything like that, I had to restart. And uh, this is now uh, beyond that island. One or yep. two islands beyond. Um, that's a little quest cash thing that you can uh, click you get uh, quests from that and when you complete quests that's where you collect your reward so it will give you a nice little reward in there once you complete the quests the idea is uh, at the beginning you you're given a radio and one of the first quests you've got to do is uh, find out where the signal is coming from so yeah that's uh, that's the initial tell you're told and I quite like the menus on this. Um, they're, they're a little bit f fiddly to get hold of first, as in sensitive, but I, I'm guessing that's down to my control and not necessarily the game, because uh, I kept flicking off of the menu I actually wanted a couple of times. But once I got used to it, yeah, I, I really like the menus. I really liked how you had to hold down a button to actually craft a, an item, so uh, you you didn't uh, accidentally craft too many type thing. So I quite like that little mechanic. And yeah, I I quite enjoyed this game. There is one element to it though. That Why are you I... not scaring off that crow? Oh yeah, yeah, you can by pressing X. Yeah, I, it's like one of the I first things it tells you to do in the game. It's obviously <laughs> important. <laughs> I think they're I, evil. I was... <laughs> well, I... I was trying to figure out, like, what would they do if I didn't, but they didn't do anything. They just pissed me off. <laughs> so in the end, yeah, I just got rid of them. But yeah, there is an element I didn't enjoy. Um, and it's it's a personal thing. It's, it's nothing to do with the game. But the checkpoints you get are very few and far between. So if you die, like, really far away from a checkpoint... And say, for instance, you find a couple of islands like this island. I spent about half an hour on this island. And if you do that on a couple of islands and then you die, all of a sudden you'll get put back to the last checkpoint. You, you get a choice. You can start the game again or go back to whatever checkpoint you want to go back to, which I quite like. But because it's so far back, you're then down... And like half an hour, sometimes 45 minutes, even possibly an hour, depending on how long you spent on the islands. And that almost feels like a restart to me. And it's like, I've lost so much progress. And it, it's, it's a bit... Uh, I, I find it... I find it very, like, um, disheartening. Like, oh, I've got to redo all that again. Like, I can't just go back to the island, pick up all my stuff, and then go again type thing. Um, so, so, yeah, but I think that's more of a personal thing. Yeah, it, it's, it's the gaming type. Like, we, we were discussing this a little beforehand, and the the 
creators themselves refer to this as a roguelite, uh, a lo- roguelike, sorry, and procedurally generated. So that's kind of par for the course for those kind of games. It's also largely why I don't like those kind of games. Now, do you just yeah. set a rabbit trap, right? Yes. You you were talking about the menus and. This is where I got very frustrated because I made a load of things. I made some rabbit traps and stuff like that. And I could not figure out how to get it in, how to move that to a position in my inventory that she could actually use it. Um, And it took me ages because while there is something of a tutorial, it it doesn't... um, kind of doesn't cater for people like me who doesn't play this kind of game so it's like i could put it into the dog snap i could put it into a backpack and i put could put it into the dog snapsack but i couldn't put it into a flipping hand and it took me ages to figure out i was getting really frustrated (laughs) which is kind of par for the course for this kind of game because there's so many mechanics and it's so in depth you've either got to have like a hell of a tutorial to cover everything or which some games do, or you can go this kind of path, which is like it's a survivalist game. You're on your own yeah, pal. Learn it. Figure it out. <laughs> it's the yeah, mechanics exactly. are there. All you got to do is learn them. <laughs> exactly. Which which I kind of found I find I find funny. I I think that's fine, but you know it did annoy me. Um, <laughs> another thing. Again, this is kind of minor, but. It yeah, yeah. bugged me at the start of the game, so I imagine playing more and more of it was going to... Why does it take so long to interact with anything? Um, like, oh, when, you're, yeah. when you're... When you are when you find a house just to decide to loot or sleep in it or whatever, you've got to hold A for, like, a couple of seconds. And if I'm on an yeah. island, you've got to keep doing it. I was getting kind of... Why are you making me wait? Like, what what is the purpose of this? Like what? What is it yeah. going to achieve? Like if I'm in combat and I'm trying to get out of it by staying in here, I could maybe understand adding a mechanic. But as it stands, I'm trying to look into some crates, and you're making me wait. And yeah. I found that quite irritating. Yeah, no, I did. I agree. I agree. The, the the wait time on stuff like houses and crates I find very unnecessary. Yeah. Whether they added that in for a difficulty, I, I don't well, know. Well, I was going to say, I, but... I, don't know if the, I don't know if the question is it's it's running a little algorithm to decide what it's going to give you or whatever, but um, yeah, maybe, maybe that's what it's doing. Yeah. But I found that annoying. Yeah. Um, yeah in no, the little I'm, I yeah, played of it. So going back and if I was to play five or six hours, if, or if I was to play this to completion or whatever, I imagine that would really start to wear after a little while. Yeah, yeah. Um, going back to the, the menu thing, I, I found uh, uh, two ways that you can do it. Uh, if it's in your backpack, you can access it by pressing left trigger and then flicking right or left on the stick. Yeah, no, I saw that, but it didn't appear in that menu at all. Oh, right, okay. (laughs) Or you can access the main menu, select the item you want, and then you've got like a little drop-down menu per item. Yeah. And then you can select what you want to do with the item that way. That's what I found in the end. Yeah. Um, oh, crap. Oh, yeah, look, there you go. Black <laughs> you, Wolf. You did pull against a <laughs> boar. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I think you're going to fare too well against the, what, a wolf. I was like, I'm going to get these because I need them and I'm going to freaking leg it. <laughs> <laughs> look at the size of that thing. <laughs> you can press X and it will give you yep. uh, like a split second to just keep running. And then there's a boar. And they're like, oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Just sandwiched by the two of them. Yeah, broken leg. Oh, look, there you go. See, her face is um, now been bored. Her face has changed <laughs> in the centre there. So, yeah, she, she's looking very haggard now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought I'd add that in just to show you, yeah, that there's wolves and boars. And, uh, unless you are equipped and prepared, do not try and go after them. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, it, it is a bad move. This is something that I found annoying, actually. So, you see, there, it's taken me ages to move that uh, raft. Yeah. 
the space around the dock is meant to be dead water so it's not moving so I'm thinking why the hell is it taking me so so long to move the raft like I found that very frustrating and very uh, unnecessary and like if it's a, a survival thing almost like a realistic thing that yeah you really got pushed like you would wouldn't you in realistic yeah. you'd push down but I'm not necessarily sure I want that yeah you just want to get back like, to playing the game yeah, like, I'm, yeah, yeah, I find that unnecessary. So, yeah, that that was slightly annoying. Did you find any um, other human characters to interact with? I haven't yet. So I, I no. did a tiny bit of research before um, before playing and before this video, and I I didn't see any reference to them. And I find this kind of thing quite hollow without them, without yes. some other characters to talk to or anything. And again, it it's. Yeah. It's very much because this isn't my style of game. Like taking the the roguelike part out of it, which, I, which bugs me anyway. Like a yeah. game where the purpose is to survive. Um, although it appears this does have a story and does have an end point, um, as you normally put in these things. But where the the main mechanic is just surviving without anyone to talk to or anything like that, I find that gets quite repetitive quite quickly. Um, yeah, yeah. But again, that's that's just me. You're you're Mr. Minecraft, so obviously you very <laughs> much disagree with my uh, no, my no, I'm, on that. I'm quite with you on that one. So if this is, of it, I mean, it looks like basically a land that's been flooded, and now uh, you're surviving. It's in a post-apocalyptic future, I believe. Yes. So I would expect there to be one or two survivors dotted around mm. like uh, either camping out or like they've set up like a little survival hut some somewhere that you can go to and chat to them and they'll give you tips type thing i think that would really add to the game uh, whether or not it's further down the river i got quite far uh, well i'm assuming i got quite far i got to uh, i got to 22 days on my longest run so I, f I feel that's decent amount of time to be able to interact with at least somebody but I didn't find anybody so yeah and look again so you get this little dead water bit that's and it's really difficult to move <laughs> yeah I found it that's <laughs> really frustrating do you see um yeah there you go like the the trees with shadows with the red eyes glowing yeah. staring at you <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, I like that. I did yeah. not try to land on any of those islands. <laughs> yeah, I am I'll not prepared for this yet. <laughs> <laughs> so these are little gas stations. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can go and repair your boat. This is where you upgrade your boat, your raft. I say boat, this is a raft at this stage. Um, I did upgrade it once. But unfortunately, I wasn't recording when I did it, so I do apologise. <laughs> but um, yeah, the reason I didn't uh, fully fix the raft completely there is because I wanted to save some of the lumber because you need some of that for um, uh, starting fires and other bits and pieces. So I only had a very limited amount. So this I included because you can find these tapes and it will give you commentary on certain aspects from the developers. So if you're interested in that aspect of things, you can find those tapes and just press play on them and carry on with your playstyle. I didn't try this. Did you try going back up the river? I tried and I'm thinking because I haven't got an engine, that's impossible. Uh, ah. I do believe you can get an engine. This is a this is a more heavy duty trap. And at first, I thought you weren't going to go into it. I was like, "Come on!" Oh. <laughs> yes, I was like, "Beautiful." Oh well, you got pig for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's the trap that will take out the wolves and the boars. I have yet to try it on a wolf, but I've researched that it does work on one. However, you've obviously got to use yourself as bait. So yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, I died in multitude of ways as well, so uh, that's uh, that's always fun. But, um, so, your overall opinion, sir? What's uh, what's your first impression of this game? Um, 
I absolutely love the look of it, but it's not a game type I enjoy, so I won't be going back to it. But that's not in any way to cast shade on the game itself. It, it's it's just not one of my genres, um, but it looks absolutely incredible. Love, love, love the design. How about you? Yeah, I'm I'm largely with you on that one. Like, love the design of it, love the look of it. Um, there's enough little bits of bugbearers that I find within the game that might turn me off. So I'm a bit 50-50 on it, but I do inv I enjoy the survival aspect of it. And uh, so, yeah, I, I probably will go back to it a little bit, but uh, we shall see. We shall see how far I get. But if you are interested in this, uh, it's available on Games of Gold, so you can download it now. And uh, we'll see you next time. See ya! Bye!